make sure now we're, going. we're 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 recording i'm here with brother jonathan o'toole go ahead let me know which, what what are we doing here okay i'm jonathan o'toole with project c yes project s-e-e dot com s-e-e is an acronym for stop exporting evil okay. specifically the evil and abominable practices of abortion and sodomy and that is directed toward the western world we're in the heart of the western world right here in chicago illinois yes okay and what we're telling to the western world uh, it's a fellowship of Christians all over the world, African, Asian, and even North American, who are, who are banding together, standing up for the Word of God, that these things like sodomy and abortion are abominable and damaging to the souls of men and women. Yes. And felonious activities that should be criminalized. Now, the Western governments increasingly are making it a... Uh, making it receiving the money that they send, okay, yes. the foreign aid, and they're making their relationships with other governments through their economic bullying and their military bullying contingent upon those countries decriminalizing sodomy and abortion. Now, Trump has backed off uh, to a large degree from the abortion part, but he's ramped it up with the sodomy part. His administration is continuing to bully African countries, for example, like Ethiopia, into decriminalizing sodomy. Now, why are we here in Chicago? Brother Will Perez is a, is a resident here. That's where he's from. He hosted me here. I came from western North Dakota, 24 hours on the Amtrak, yes. to deliver this book called Pastor Jeff Hits Back. It's a book about a, an African pastor who defends African children yes. against western sex tourists, <laughs> sodomite sex tourists, coming from places like here. And right here in this neighborhood, where we're eating at McDonald's. 30 minutes ago, we were at Toto Tours, yes. which uh, had a big media fiasco because they threatened to bring uh, an open group of uh, sodomite tourists to visit the holy sites of Ethiopia openly. Shame. And the people of Ethiopia said, no, may God forbid, do not come here. And so we're standing in solidarity. We didn't threaten anyone. We came in a friendly way. You can see the video. Um, and when they asked us to leave, we left. We left our book there for them. It's a free book. Yeah. We gave them our book, our children's book. But the book has a message. It's that there are still people in this world who fear God. Christians, Muslims, even normal pagan people who, who have enough decency to criminalize sodomy. Now, I have a message not only the message of solidarity with the Ethiopians that we express today by visiting Toto Tours in their, in their um, place of business, and apparently it's also the residence of the owner, uh, Dan Ware, and what seemed to me to be his boyfriend, a heavyset man, who answered the door. They refused the book, we left it there for them, but not only are we educating them with this educational material, I want to give a message to all Christians, professing Christians, especially so-called conservative evangelicals who are beginning to say that sodomy, <clears throat> I'll be 40 years old this year, in my, the first half of my lifetime, sodomy was criminal yeah. in many of these states, okay? And the world is changing and the Orwellian uh, mind conditioning is happening so fast that now so-called conservative, uh, professing, Bible-believing Christians are saying that sodomy should not be criminalized. I'm telling you, if you're one of those Christians, and you know some of you I've argued with you in recent months, you have abandoned yeah. Christianity. That's right. Okay. This this is an abominable act that destroys human beings. It leads toward it leads toward pederasty. I'm gonna hold tight to my Ethiopian flag here because I don't want it to blow away yes. and hit the ground. Uh, but by the way, I want to emphasize not only that we're rebuking these Christians, but we're rebuking them in solidarity with Ethiopia. And Ethiopia has the picture of the lion of the tribe of Judah. That's it. Remember uh, Solomon uh, received a visit from the Queen of Sheba and the Ethiopians traced their history back to that. But they were also the first kingdom and the first country that as a country accepted Christianity, at least one of the first. Mm. And so they've been Christian from long before Germany existed, long before the United Kingdom was Christian. Uh, since the earliest times of the apostles. And they've got the Lion of the tribe of Judah holding a cross, the cross sound. of Christ, on their flag. So, that, so God will defend Christian people. And if you American Christians continue with your uh, uh, contraceptives, okay, and continue winking at sodomy and not criminalizing it, 
and being ashamed of the Western tradition, you'll disappear. The Lord doesn't need you. Yeah. He has believers in Asia, believers in Africa, and if you want to become obsolete, okay, like the <laughs> Neanderthals, the kingdom of heaven will not lose anything from losing you. It's you who will lose. That's what I have to say. Amen. We're the losers. Repent. That's right. Amen, brother. Thank you. All right.